the narcissist will never do this. There are many things that narcissists will never do. But this is definitely one of the main things you should never expect from them. And that is for them to be loyal. For them to give or show firm and constant support and allegiance to you. To the positive and productive aspects of society. To a religious, educational or social purpose. Or to an established law, practice or custom. They are never going to do that. They are never going to be loyal, honest or trustworthy. They're never going to be able to love you or anyone else. They're never going to experience true joy or happiness. And the reason why is because they have a void. They're very insecure so they often feel empty. And nothing you or anyone else does will ever fill them. They're never going to be satisfied. And as soon as you figure them out, you will quickly discard them. Because you know that you're not going to be able to make them happy. They're never going to be happy with anyone. But you would rather that they would be someone else's problem. Because all they're going to do is bring you down in an attempt to fill that void. When it's a void that can never be filled. They're always going to want more and they're never going to be happy. Because they're never going to be faithful. They're never going to be true to their word, promises or vows. They're never going to be deserving of your trust. Because they're never going to keep their promises. Which is why they will only end up cheating on you. They will always be looking for something better or something more. The bigger better deal. The next shiny new toy. Because they have this inflated ego. An exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. Which distorts their ability to recognize truth in themselves and other people and causes them to have a strong sense of entitlement. For things that they haven't even worked for. For things that they don't deserve. And yet they will hide it. Because they already know that what they're doing is wrong. But even though you may not think that they're cheating. A lot of times they are. You're just unaware of it. You haven't caught on. You haven't recognized the signs. Because they are expert manipulators. They can make you believe that they're committed to you. And you will be none the wiser until one day you catch them out. You find out that they have been cheating on you. But when you first got involved with them you felt like they were dedicated to you. And you were dedicated to them. And it would have appeared that way to anyone outside of the relationship. As though you were connected and everything was great. But that was just a love bombing. It was manipulation. And they use it to fill the relationship with enthusiasm and excitement. To make you believe that it's who they really are and everything is amazing. So then you wanted to stay with them and be with them. But then it trapped you and kept you stuck. As you started to notice things that they were hiding. And they started to withdraw. They became distant and reserved. They began to hide their phone. They would disappear for hours at a time. And when you tried to confront them on it, they didn't want to talk about it. Or they would get angry, as though you have no right to question them. Because they're just trying to distract you. Maybe they already met up with someone else. And now they're gaslighting you. Or they're love bombing you again. They're acting nice all of a sudden. But there's something going on. And they don't want you to become suspicious. Because the truth is that they will never be loyal. They will never be faithful. Even if you give them everything that they need. Even if you give them money and a place to live. 
even if you give them sex, even if you treat them well, they're still going to want more and you're not going to be able to give that to them. They're not even going to want it from you. After they've spent a certain amount of time around you, they're going to want it from someone else. Because it really isn't about what you're given or not given to them. They will still hurt you, regardless of how well you're treating them. Regardless of you being a good person. Because they don't really care about your good qualities. They just view you as an appliance, an object that exists to meet their needs. They don't care about who you are as a person. That doesn't concern them. Which is why you may not remember a time where you actually sat down and had an actual conversation with them. It was always something superficial. There was never a time where they tried to get to know who you actually are. Because they never cared about that. All they cared about is getting their needs met at your expense. Whether it's emotional or financial. Which means that they're never going to be able to love you. They're never going to experience true joy or happiness. Because they're always looking for something to fill that void. They're not a complete person on their own. Which is why they can never be alone. And they will never be honest with themselves or be honest with you. They will never be grateful and it's because of their ego. They're addicted. It's just whatever makes them feel good. Whatever makes them feel important. So they're a slave to their impulses. They can't control it. So they're just going to keep doing the same things again and again. And it's never going to change until they accept who they are. But in the beginning, it will look like they actually cared about you. When they're just addicted to the chase. They always want what they don't have. And once they've got it, they don't want it anymore. Because they've locked you down. They know you're not going anywhere. So then they start seeking new supply. They start looking for something else to fulfill them. They're bored of you now. They've learned you. They know what makes you tick. They know what you're about. So for them it's just lost that sense of mystery and excitement that it once had in the beginning. It's more fun for them to chase someone else. To try to attract and win another person. Because the more time you spend around them, the more your value goes down. They don't value themselves. So why would they value you? They see it as though if you're willingly desiring to spend time around them, then you can't be that special. Which is why it seems like they're always chasing people who are out of their reach. Or people who they believe they can't have. Because that's what feels special to them. But as soon as they know that they can have you. They won't want you anymore. They will instantly lose interest in you. They may keep you around if you're fulfilling their emotional and financial needs. But they're never going to see you in the way that they did before. They're never going to look at you like you're the prize. Because they know they've already got you. You're not going anywhere. So they begin to take for granted. They have their eye on someone else. Or they may just be fantasizing about them. But either way they're still cheating. They're still not being loyal. Because they believe that there's something better or greater than you. And while they may not have physically cheated on you, a lot of times it may just be because they can't. They may have tried to cheat on you already, but then they got turned down. And by staying with them, you are disrespecting yourself. Because they're never going to respect you after that. Whether you know it or not, they're always going to feel like they have the upper hand over you. They're going to feel like they're more powerful. They're never going to treat you as their equal. 
because they have this void and they have these desires and they know you're never going to be enough for them they're never going to feel satisfied with you and they know there's nothing you can do to change that so they look at it like they're always the winner in the end because in their minds you fail to satisfy them which always leaves them in a position of power because you're associated with them you're connected to them so they're always going to take you for granted they're always going to look at it like if you were anything special you wouldn't want anything to do with them because they already know that they mean you no well they've been through this many times before they know what they're like they know they get cold feet they lose confidence in the relationship they lose desire and attraction towards the other person so they know it's only a matter of time until they idealize someone else which puts them in a position of power over you from the very beginning because you're unaware you don't know that you genuinely believe that you could be enough for them when deep down they already know the truth and a lot of times that's what gives them this unrealistic and superficial self-esteem it's just the fact that they know that no matter who you think you are or how much of an asset you think you're going to be to them in the long run you're going to fall short you're not going to live up to their expectations and they're going to feel pressured to give you credit to patronize you and to feed your ego to make you feel like you can be good enough for them when deep down they already know the truth as soon as they've got you they're going to want something else but they don't see it as a character flaw in their minds that makes them powerful because they can just toss you aside whenever they want to even if they're emotionally or financially tied to you they don't care and many of you are deluding yourselves into thinking that you hold some level of significance to them yes they may play along with it and they may even trick themselves into thinking that they want you because they like how that makes them feel in that moment but time reveals all and just as they lost desire and attraction towards other people before you the same thing is going to happen again and it will begin to affect your self-esteem you will start to feel like something is wrong with you when this person just can't be satisfied they're always going to want more and it's because they know that you don't really want them you don't really accept them and what they're looking for is someone who does accept them because they don't accept themselves and it's almost like they need permission from someone to be able to accept themselves someone who won't judge them someone who will let them be who they actually are but even then they're just going to walk all over you they're going to take you for granted and they're going to have other sources on the side you will never be the only one you're never going to feel special they're always going to overlook you unless they think they can get something out of you and in the end all you're really going to have is these moments and it was just a figment of your imagination a shared fantasy it was never real because everything they gave to you was not real all they care about is the moment and to get that they have to sell you a dream that they can never live up to and as long as you think it's real it will feel real for you but it won't ever be something that's actually grounded in reality thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up share your thoughts in the comment section hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications if you would like to support the channel you could donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor you could book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website it's narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.